Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So today is Third Lance Day. Now we don't quite have enough mechs to outfit a full Third Lance yet, but we do have enough mechs to, uh, that I've got repaired to be able to give our Third Lance enough mechs to go into battle with. We're going to send Hellion in with them as well. She's got her mech back and she's back from uh, Medbay. So uh, we'll send her in with them as well to give them some fire support, but we'll see how they do with the two Timberwolves. We're going to give them the Orion because the Orion has kind of been pushed out, uh, back in service. That'll, that'll be the command mech for the uh, for that third lance. Now with the two heavy large lasers instead of the wrist PPCs and the Rotary 2, I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see how this thing does, especially since it's a headshotter mech. And we're going to round it out, I think, with not the arrow mech, but we're going to round it out with the AMS mech. Um, I've also given some thought um, to the Naga because I, I know I was a bit disappointed when I saw that it had a 400 XL engine in it. I'm like, wow, I got no space to put anything in. But we might make this a versatile, fast speed, um, secondary uh, night gear prime with the uh, AMS. We, we might actually combine, like for the lower level missions, we might combine the night gear, they're both night gear primes, the arrow system and the AMS. So we'll put an arrow in it. Uh, one arrow launcher and then the AMS um, and have it with the we have an advanced AMS and AMS Mark II we'll do the same thing same loaded as this guy so we'll have that that uh, mech that we can take with with us either on prime missions in which case we'll have three arrow systems to use or we can take it on secondary missions to cover both the arrow and the uh, AMS when we're doing lower level missions. So that's my thought. Uh, we'll see how it grows once it's back to load out. I think it's like close to the bottom. Yeah, it's close to the bottom in the repair tree here. I'm trying to get some other mechs back so we can do some missions here, um, but we won't be able to do them before the end of the month. Financial reports four days away. So we're gonna take one. I managed to sell a whole bunch of crap that we had lying around. Like we're never gonna use the regular ER PPCs and stuff, so I sold those. There was a bunch of stuff that I had that was just sitting in storage that I sold. Our uh, financial report's at three million right now, so we need to make sure we have enough C-bills for that. So this mission is gonna be something here. I don't know what we're gonna take yet. We got a couple of heavy, we got a heavy lure mission against pirates. That might be the one to choose. This is against Wolf. We don't wanna do that because we've already done a mission against Wolf. And this one is against Wolf as well. So let's take the heavy lure. Gonna go negotiate this and we're gonna go full salvage. I wanna see if we can put together a mech to sell. All right, so let's drum out our, not drum them out, but let's move them out. We're gonna leave the AMS mech in because we need that guy. So the Orion's gonna go in and then the Timberwolf Ultra the missile launcher one, and then we're gonna put the Zeus down here. So our second Lance is gonna be run by Spoiler, and we'll drop Vegas in second uh, in the direct fire Timberwolf. And then uh, let's put, Wall is gonna go back here on the AMS because we don't really need that big a uh, uh, huge pilot for that. And then the Timberwolf LRM. Um, yeah, let's go this route. Timberwolf LRM, we're gonna have direct fire on this. So we'll go that route. And then let's go Hellion, <coughs> excuse me, Hellion here as backup. She's just there in case things go south, but we'll put her in there as well and let's deploy. All right, here we go, city combat. We are perfectly outfitted for city combat. And hey, look at this. We got no textures on some of our mechs. This here place needs a good drive through for some burgers. Yeah, man. Well, I don't know why we don't have textures. But we're gonna play with no textures because why not? It's family day. We got a lance up here. Probably another set of reinforcements coming from this direction. So we're gonna do what we did the last time we were on this map. Let's set up our fire lanes. Uh, let's move and brace. I'm gonna have you control this lane over here. Let's just turn this way. You watch our flank and we'll get the main lance to move forward. Okay, uh, we wanna have direct fire with the air, with the Artemis if we can. LRM 60's not bad. Our mechs are fast though, that's the one thing I do like about this lance. The Orion's not fast, but doesn't need to be, right? 
it's a long range headhunter mech. Look at that beautiful colors. It's pink screening. We should I should just key out the pink and have it <laughs> just put some f crazy fluorescent uh, stuff in the back. Like a like a plaid or something ridiculous. So <laughs> whenever you see the mech it's just the shifting plaid color. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Depends on how much time I have to render that out. Uh, that's one thing I hate doing at work is green screening. I mean, it's not so bad. I mean, when you get a bad green screen, though, you're like, fuck, really? But if you get a good green screen, it's just like a one touch and then a couple of minor adjustments and you're ready to go. But you can you can do that. You can you can chrome a key with anything. Uh, okay, Vegas. Let's see if we can see anything up here. Probably not. I'm gonna move this way. The last time we played this map, we didn't really see much up there. All right, we got no blip. Let's brace. Yeah. I don't want you too far forward. I'm gonna shift you to here. All right, we got a fire lane. What do we got over here? Looks like a marauder. And we got a PO, PO heavy tank. Ooh, marauder too. Mom was gonna run. Mom was gonna wind this rack up. I know you were this this here as as uh, fire support, but it's a marauder too. That's the, that's just to tell them that we're here. <laughs> we need to clear those fire lanes. Let's get a direct line of sight and, fi and fight this guy. That's just a walk too. We got some pretty good movement on this thing. Okay, here comes the LRMs. I'm surprised the diverse optics uh, lasers aren't in range, but I guess we're missing that plus 10% uh, There we go. That plus 10% um, range with the uh, with the piloting skill. All right, just don't shoot your fellow comrades in the back. Please and thank you. 34. Well, that's a kill. I have no idea what I hit. I don't think it was a headshot, though. And it looks like we didn't shoot our, our guys in the back, which is always good. Enemy we got you covered. Confirm. Good job, Wall. Good job. It's kind of a good name for the, uh, for the mech with the AMS, Wall. You gotta get past the wall to get to us. Comes the shots in the po. Let's switch it up to oh, Hydra's out of range. Never mind. I mean, I really shouldn't. I'd be burning the city to the ground, but you know, not my city. What do I care? Hetzer. Oh, who's got a friggin' air over there? It's not major. Oh, it's a carrier. Okay. Archer? Alright. Alright, spoiler alert. Um... That carrier is not going to be coming out of there anytime soon, so we really need to split up here. Rack's jammed already. Let's move forward up here. Okay, we got a Hornet. Alright, not bad. Rotary's on jam, beautiful. It's the recoil on that shoulder, right? That's the big problem. I don't really have any recoil reduction other than that uh, auto cannon cockpit, which is minus one, so it's a bit of, bit of an issue. I wish I had a, a, um, 
an arm mount that we could uh, put the um, let's do this I think yeah I wish I had the arm mount that we could put the um, the rack in but we don't unfortunately with that Orion it's only got uh, laser points in the arms all right we got to rain some stuff on this guy All right, Goose. Spread out a little bit. You can actually see through this thing. It's transparent. Semi-transparent. 16%. All right, well. As your skill goes up, so will your chance to hit. So, not really that worried about it. Yeah, you outpaced the AMS, but that's all right. That's all right. This guy may oh, this guy may not even get a chance to shoot. Well, the Hornet's in range. Let's move into here. This guy's got the right loadout for the city. We just haven't had a chance to get to a position where we could use it yet. I'm interested to see how those MRMs do. That's the big thing. Yeah. Come on. I think our second AMS is jammed. Here it comes. Alright, not so bad. I think he, I think it was more terrifying before because he was, uh, a lot, we were a lot closer together. It just seemed like, I thought he was using arrows. It just seemed like it was using arrows, that's all. Alright, let's drop some of this on him. That's not bad though. Marauder 2 supported by a carrier. I mean if the Marauder 2 had gotten a chance to fire it might have been threatening but not today. I'm listening. Okay you know what? She's only supposed to be here to uh Provide fire support if necessary, so we'll just let her use her LRMs. See how these other mechs do. I'm interested to see how this ultra auto cannon mech has got uh, for targeting here. Why are you shooting that timber wolf? LRMs maybe? Alright. Well... Well that's not too bad for a low level mech... low level mech pilot. I guess it's okay. Well you missed with the tag but... <coughs> That's all right. We'll take that. All right. Let's see what you can do up here, if you can get up here. Beautiful. It's always going to be headshots. Because we can. We get a headshot? I don't know. Didn't say. Well, I, sorry, not, not that it didn't say, just I couldn't see. Alright, let's get uh, these on that guy. Gonna walk it up, get rid of our instability. 16%. That's a hot mech too. Beautiful. 
Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Guys, about paced the AMS already. Good thing that guy can't hit where the shit. Oh shit, that guy's got an AC20, I think. Dude, you gotta keep pace, and if you can't keep pace, you gotta get ahead. Can't have this shit. Can't have this shit, you know what I'm saying? There you go. Stay ahead of them if you can. And that way they can move into your arc of fire. 14% even though he's unstable. Oh, we did get a headshot on him. Maybe a couple. That's like 50 damage, so it must have been two of the racks hit his head. Is he going down? No, he's not going down. He paused there for a second, so I thought maybe he was going down. Standing by. We're going to go after this guy because I think we're going to get... Um, see if we can get a headshot on the other guy. Meh. Move where that Hetzer can't see us. Fire maneuver is so important. Okay, the Hetzer will be able to see her, but we need the better chance to hit. It's going to warm us up, but we'll take it. Oh, you shoot your own guy, too. That's the, hey, you haven't been keeping up with this shot. Not your fight. Not your fight. You robbed us of a good rob Marauder 2 kill, so just stay there. So I think we'll burn through the Hydra ammo. See if we can capitalize on this. Firing. No. Nope. Yeah, good shooting though. On my way. Good shooting. Switch this around to Hydra. We're going to fire on this guy. I don't think we'll get the kill on him, but we may heat up the uh, archer as well. Oh, never mind. We got the, did we get the kill? Yeah, we did. Beautiful. And the archer's gone down. Beautiful. You just sit there and contemplate life, buddy. Hell, two of four. Well, the archer is only worth like what, um, almost nine hundred thousand. That's it if we sell it. So, so really, the Marauder two we want. This guy's not really worth that much. Don't know if it's the pirate archer either. Doesn't say. You're just going to stay there, are you? Well, that's your choice. I'm here. Uh. Order acknowledged. This guy's running really hot. Okay, that's not bad. That's probably a kill. 32 and 32, huh? Affirmative. Let's go after the risk vehicle. No idea what it's got on it. That Hornet doesn't seem to be too dangerous at all. I'm here. I know looks can be deceiving though. Alright, let's hammer this guy. I 
like it that close? Probably not. On my way. Just back it up. Ooh, got hit with one of the lasers. Oh, it must have been a building hit. It looked like it penetrated. I'm like, how the hell can it penetrate? There's no way it can penetrate. Hmm. Let's kill this guy. I have no idea what it's got on it, but I don't, I don't think I want it firing at me. Yep. Alright, well... That keeps everybody in our, uh... AMS. Leave those off. Let's hit this guy with Hydra. Well, yeah, there's a kill. Enemy Still think it's OP. Still think it's OP. We'll see how it is in the next version. Jeez. Really? Thanks for showing up. Alright, hammer him. See ya. Alright, loadouts aren't too bad. For missions like this, they're just fine. Alright, 181,000. Took a little bit of damage, so we'll be paying a bit of that out, but not much. They could have probably just done it with the four. Oh, there we go. There you go. We wanted stuff. We got stuff. Thunderbolt 20. Hornet part, which we can sell. A couple of cores. We, oh, with 300 we'll hang on to, but we'll sell the 180. Regular heat sinks, SRM. Oh yeah, it's all sellable. Alright, so not bad. Alright. 53,000. Three days. Okay, we should be able to take these guys out one more time today. I know we didn't want to go against uh, Clan Wolf, but I think we're going to do that. Just give it a shot and see what happens. Now, I, let's manage our tasks. So, um... Timberwolves, eh? So we got to get, get them back in two days. The Ryan will be back. The Atlas will be back. Okay. Um, how when are our pilots back? That's the question. Three days. All right, we'll wait three days. And then do another one here. Let's go... Uh, actually, yeah. We'll just do this first. So one, two, three... Go to the simulators, buddy. 3,000 experience. It's always useful. Alright. One day no financial report. We should have enough mechs back. Let's have a quick look, though. We're going to bring forward... I think we're probably going to sell that Marauder, too. I hate to say that, but... Most likely we're just going to sell it. We need the sea bills more than anything at this point. So let's bring it forward. And let's have a look at it. It's got... Oh, it's, it doesn't have any... Uh, a lot of ballistic hard points. I wonder. I wonder if this will be better than the Kaiju. It does have lower arm mounts. And the Kaiju doesn't. Ballistics are in the arms. This could be a double rack build. Ooh, I'm thinking we're going to keep this one. How much is it going to take to repair it, though? Not very much. The core is intact. Although we do need the XL engine in here. One assault dump jump jet. Let's just pull these guys out for now. Regular AC-10s, huh? Um, how much did it cost to max out the armor? Nothing. Mostly time, four days. Take the jump jet out. Just leave the core in. 
Yeah, let's try this. I think we're going to use this guy instead of the Kaiju. Because of the ballistic mounts on the arms. Like, we could go a crazy-ass rotary build, too. We got we got a pair of rack tens, although we don't have the ammo for them. Like, could you imagine? XL engine. If we had the rack 10 ammo. I've been searching, man. I've been searching the stores for ammo. We've only got a handful. Um, where is it here? We got three rack 10 caseless. 60 shots, which is enough for one rack 10, but not for two. Although we could drop a, a rack 10 and a five. We need some pretty heavy recoil reduction for that too. Let me think about it. Let's confirm this. I was I was just gonna sell this, but I can't now. I think it's gonna replace the kaiju because it's got the lower arm mounts. We can put the uh, we can put the weapon mounts on it for the bonus to hit and the reduced recoil. I think that's what we have to do. Okay, let's have a look at the the uh, command center here. Uh, let's work for the regular clans here against Clan Wolf. Um, not as good salvage, but better payout, which I think is probably better. Clan Wolf's only going to drop by six. We're going to be jumping to a Wolf Planet after this anyway, so we'll get we'll get some more rep with them after that. So let's accept this. I don't even know what we're doing, but we're going to do it. All right, let's bring the Zeus down uh, and Hellion. Battle in an urban environment. Depending on what, what they draw. We got the Zeus. I don't know. We're not worried. We got the Zeus. We got the Zeus. All right, here we go. Instead of heavy lance, most likely we're, face most likely we're facing two lances. Good thing the Zeus hasn't jumped yet. She's up on a building there. And at least we got textures. There you go. We got textures. So that missing textures happened once in an earlier episode and I just reloaded because I couldn't take it. It was that, I think that mission kept failing so I ended up doing something else. Yeah. Just bring it down here. Beautiful. You're on Overwatch. Please don't let my guys, my new guys die. It would be bad for business. Alright, let's control this central fire lane. Got some trees we can move into. Most likely we're going to get ambushed from one side or another. Uh, let's try not to bunch up if we can avoid it. I'm there. Thank you. Commander? Spoiler alert. Just move over here. You got good range. I'm not worried about that. And wall. There we go. Remember, stay with us this time. I know you're slow. I've got eyes on hostile of course you do. They're heading your way. You're fucking guys. Pack hunter. No idea what we're facing up ahead. I wonder if we would just wheel and take these guys on first. Yeah, we'll get caught in a crossfire. Let's move this way. Standing by. You got the speed. Let's use it. think the trees are the best bet. There we go. We got somebody. Direct line of sight. Timberwolf. What else do we got? Marauder. We're going to have sustained long fighting, so let's go this route. And firing. So I was thinking about that Naga loadout. So the ammo for the, um, for the arrow right now, we could put a... a um, fire control system in it, the advanced one with uh, like uh, like the targeting computer with missile bonus, uh, Artemis and a bunch of other stuff. So we can use the guided missiles. And then if we put Artemis in we can also drop in like an LRM 15 or a 20 and test out the thunder ammo again. What do we got back here? It's a Gauss rifle. Sentinel. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if we faced that before. 
rings a bell, but I don't know. Hellbringer, all right. LBX, feel free to use the LBX all you want. Scatter that damage around as best you can. I'm under heavy fire. It's not that heavy. It's a little more destabilizing than anything. The thing about the the um, the LBX is it's good for destabilization, sure, and also good if you don't want to have to. Um, if you don't want to have to deal with, uh, let's move into here, um, your uh, LRMs being intercepted, just use those instead. And leave the barrage off for now. We're going to put it, in, put it into battle in a key moment. And we got incendiary. I have no idea what this Timberwolf's got loaded out. Let's see if we can warm them up a bit, I think. And fire. Maybe we can uh, deter him from shooting this turn. Um, she's on Overwatch. Feel free to pot shot with an LRM, but that's it. We're really testing this other lance out to see if we need to be dropping her in. Maybe the LRM build gets switched to a ATM build. I've been center locked. See, now those guys are both together. It's perfect time for the barrage. All right, good shooting. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah. Hopefully spoiler can go before the Timberwolf, but it's unlikely. Well, these guys are going to get a load of incendiaries anyway from, uh, her Hydra ammo from Wall anyway. Then we can hit, the oh, he didn't do anything. I wonder if he was over, he was getting pretty hot in there probably. Alright, let's see if he's actually still surviving after this. Oh, come on. Okay, who is this guy? Timberwolf. They might be able to leg him. That is the Hellbringer. Now, Timberwolf's still the best. And this guy's a headshot mech, so let's see if we can take his head clean off. Let's round, whack, round, blah. Let's wind the rotary up. Yeah, a bunch of damage on buildings. Now yeah, we penned. Probably a leg shot though. All it needed was one hit. They got one more guy back here somewhere. Well, you better sprint your ass up there. Okay, better positioning. Uh, switch over to Hydra ammo. Let's drop it on the Timberwolf. Most likely, if we, if we get lucky, it'll be a kill. Uh, leave the, let's leave the ERs on and see if we can take him down. Yeah, overpowered. This is overpowered. Sorry. It almost seems like any injured mech that's got like, internal structure exposed it's a kill and it doesn't look like it does that much damage it just does internal heat damage and blows them up it's just I, I don't know and I know it, it's been said that if I would if it was being used against me I'd be all upset and everything about it so I should be able to use it against the enemy it's only because my AMS has been taking them out but still it's like it doesn't it doesn't negate the fact that it's OP ammo so I don't think I'll. Uh, I thought about putting the two two tons of it onto the uh, archer, having like three rounds of uh, 
of a LR, a, that 70 Hydra, but it, with it being on a LRM 40, I don't, it doesn't even need to be even more than that. So I, I don't know. I'll see what I'm going to do with it. I'm not sure yet. All right, spoiler alert. Let's just shoot this guy. No, you're designed for headshots. Can't not do headshots. Is that the Marauder? That's the Hellbringer. Marauder's a little better. Let's go after his head. Firing. Still though, like, the percentage chance to hit is actually pretty darn good. Stay up here as best we can. Like, I don't know, for a low, for a low level pilot like that, it's pretty darn good chances to hit. Like headshot hit, that is. I don't think we hit his head, but maybe. But the rack two is the right idea for the headshot mech. If we had a pair of rack fives, it'd be even better, but let's lob some fifteens on this guy. That's all she's allowed to do. It's all you're allowed to do unless they're in trouble. Okay, we got an Orion. 2CA. I wonder if he's got Ultra 5s or Rack 5s. This guy took a big CT hit, huh? Alright, let's just fire on him. Get away from that, Orion. Hellbringer closing slightly. Not really worried about LBXs. Damage is minor, Commander. Yeah. Standing by. They had a lot of them, then maybe, but... He's standing in water. Um, my thought was just for the uh, tag barrage. That guy's wow! What the hell happened to my chance to hit? What happened to my chance to hit, man? All right, let's just fire on him. All right, a couple of incendiaries hit. Add a little bit of heat to him. Okay, Nova. Oh shit, girl, you gotta move forward. Yep. Wall's been doing his job, you just haven't been doing anything. He's been staying with us the whole time. You sure as hell haven't. I'm there. Yeah, what the hell happened to my chance to hit all of a sudden? Maybe we're not up high anymore? We don't have the height advantage? Can't be that big a deal. There's the Sentinel. Yep. I should just send Hellion over there to take care of these all these guys. <laughs> she most likely could do it too. Okay, we're going to move to the right, take care of that Orion. Hope he moves out of the water. We'll heat his ass up. Now that Marauder's cooling itself off pretty, pretty good. Uh, copy. Yep. Yeah. That's all you get to do. That's all you get to do. We should be generating enough resolve every turn. 
Yeah, we got 15 resolve each round, which means we should be able to do headshots every round. Let's see if we can Commander? get that Orion. Oh, there's a better chance to hit. Why did... Why was it so bad last turn? The guy hadn't moved. He hadn't done anything. It's not a knockdown either, eh? Um, I'm going to stay here. I'm just worried about this Orion. Thanks, Bubba. You got that right. Okay, let's move it over here. And we're going to go this way. And B will take an Ultra 5. We'll take both of them, actually. Put the incendiaries and the barrage on A. We're going to try and overheat him, stop him from shooting. We'll knock down the marauder. Wow, that was a really bad barrage shot. That marauder should go down, though. Uh, he's panicking now. I don't blame you, buddy. I think I'd be shitting my pants, too. Okay, uh, what do we got left here? We got wall and, sp and spoiler. Spoiler is going to try and headshot that Orion. It's going to be an Orion duel, I think. And then we'll get um, wall. Maybe try and finish up that Marauder. Probably. Or we could do uh, Hydra on this guy and try and keep him from shooting. This guy's running cool because he's firing gauze. There's no point in even shooting at this guy. Ooh, somebody's got peeps back there. Who is that? Pack Hunter. Nova. Huh. Will that be a kill, though? Need 120. We got 120 damage. That uh, won't be a kill, I don't think. But we can do this. We can switch our target up to this guy. And we can switch this to Hydra. And fire. Fifty-eight heat, beautiful. That'll shut him up for a turn, hopefully. Hopefully that shuts him up for a turn. Okay, we just got spoiler left. So the AMS is in a pretty good position, I think. I wonder if that was their Orion not moving. Wonder. Find out here in a second. Oh, come on. Sentinel Orion. There we go. Wow, low chances to hit, huh? There's a mad dog over there. That's a good distance away. Evan Jaguar. Jaguar. Jaguar, Evan Shagwar. Uh, let's just kill this guy. Or try to. Um, can leave the rack off. Save the recoil. And firing. There we go. Thought there for a second we didn't get it. They're inspired. How are they inspired? They're inspired by one of their guys dying and another one completely set ablaze? Yeah, we can do this, guys. We just lost the weak, weak link. We should be fine now.
Yeah, we were going to wheel this way to try and avoid the guys over here, but with this Orion here and the heavy out damage output, I want to try to avoid that. So if we can smoke the Hellbringer and then kill this guy, Sentinel should be an easy kill, I think. 694 armor. 660. 1411 is a little tougher. Hmm. You only get your 15, girl. That's all you get. And maybe the barrage. Ready for order. That way she feels like she's doing something. Ooh, yeah. Alright. Hammer this guy with some incendiaries. Thirty-four heat, pilot head head hit injury. Don't want to close. Because I got fast mechs, I'm I'm thinking, oh I gotta close, I gotta close, but no I don't. All my ra my weapons are set for this distance, so there's no point in closing. Sixty-six. 47 on the Mad Dog, 60 on the Ebon Jaguar. Hellbringer, we could just hammer him and try and take him down. Although he's effectively out this turn. So let's go after this guy. Just gonna fight, well, we wanna try and headshot him? Oh, come on. That's the Hellbringer? Wow, he's really badly damaged. That's the Sentinel. That's pretty good chances. Let's fire on his head. Did we just take his head off? I think we just took his head off. Makes everything worth it. I think we took his head off with a, with a uh, heavy laser. That's beautiful. Yeah, he's dead. Three units down. You know, even with that low chance to hit the 40%, like, I'll take the 40% with that many weapons with a headshot, especially since you got the rack. And all it takes is one good headshot, and they're like, you know, with a rack, and then they have harder chances to hit and everything, right? It's like big, big problems for them. All right, we could just drop some stuff on this guy. No. I don't know. We want to be on direct on this guy, I think. So they got a Phoenix Hawk as the other mech back there. Mad uh, Dog. Hellbringer. I think we want to go direct fire on the Hellbringer if we can. Let's do that. I know we're out of the trees here, but that's fine. We got a ton of ammo, so let's fire on this guy. Still going. Beautiful. And we still got our, um... Still got our AMS mech to go. Well, that looked like a head hit, almost. We have got our AMS mech to go here, so... Go back to regular Artemis, uh, and just fire on this guy. You got that right. All right, so it's the Orion's turn now. He's moving forward. Report minimal damage. I don't know if he's got LRMs or rockets. It's a 2C, probably not rockets. Okay, these guys are closing. Won't help them though. They're just closing to within headshot range is all they're doing. Now, if we can pull off the same thing with the Orion and take his head off, I'll be really happy. Because if we can switch this guy out with an Orion 2C... Alright, let's give it to him. Let's give it to him. What's up, buddy? Let's run the mediums as well. Haha. <laughs> 
Okay. Let's start. Oh, man. Who's shooting the PPCs? That's what I want to know. Evan Jaguar, probably. Uh, copy. You don't get to move, remember. Firing at him. Had a little bit of instability. No, it was coming up on the flank here. That's the Evan Jaguar, right? Yep. Yeah. And the Mad Dog and the Phoenix Hawk. And the other guy is probably over here somewhere. Oh, he's way down here. Where's he going? Okay. Bring this guy over here. Uh, wow, what a difference. Let's see, uh, let's hang out of the Hydra. This guy's got ballistic and missile build. He's probably running pretty cool. All right. Yeah, I, I I think running that Naga with the arrow and the um, the AMS might be the way to go. These LRM twenties, I mean, with the Hydra ammo, it's pretty good. You get a couple of good kills out of it, but it's not making a huge difference in the battle. But if we had guided missile arrows, it might make a really huge, like a really big difference in the battle. Ryan didn't move. He's dead. He's dead meat. On my way. Shred him. Standing by. Spoiler alert, spoiler likes headshots. Oof, really? Why is it so low? He didn't move. The guy didn't move. Why is it so low? Partial cover from the building, maybe? It's a red, solid red line. I don't understand. I don't understand. Alright, I'm going to leave the rack off. So we get a better chance to hit. I'm going to fire these. Well. Forget it. Well, yeah. Let's just fire some shots at the Phoenix Hawk as it's approaching. Yeah. Okay, one of the big ones hit. Nice. Looked like it penetrated. Beautiful. Thought for sure we'd be able to take that Orion's head off. It's like when it moves, it's no problem, but when it's sitting still, it's a huge problem. Maybe it's got something to do with the ECM or something? I don't know. Commander? Alright, let's give this guy a face full of fun. What's up, dog?
We're going to be out of ammo soon. We're going to have to bring in uh, Heli in probably. Well, the LRMs will be out of ammo. Well, yeah, probably. This guy will run out of uh, LRM ammo as well, probably. You're going to make us chase you down, too. All right, tell you what, Hellion. You go after those two guys. Lucky that I decided to let you into the battle. I've just uncaged her. Because these guys are like running for the wall over here. This guy's stuck on the edge of the map, so feel free to go over and wreck him. Alright, wind it up. Let's clear these guys out. We don't have to worry about them. Look at this. Let's get it. Let's get a uh, confirmed kill on this guy if we can. Whoa! Almost. Not having a good day. Yeah, that guy had no idea what hit him. He's like, yeah, when you shoot that mech over there, and, oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! Alright, firing. See, now the chances to hit her way better. I don't understand why it was so bad before. Oh, Christ. Really? Well, let's just try it. All right, well, I have no idea how much damage this guy's got, but let's just hit him with the art with the uh, LRMs. I'm on him. There it is. Target down. All right, right side clear. Let's move in and terminate these guys with extreme prejudice. Phoenix Hawk first. See if we can get some of this uh, these mad dog parts here. Not that it matters, it's only 60 tons, but... Maximum speed. Remember, you're just getting these two. Christ, I could just unleash her against this whole force. As long as she had enough ammo, they'd be, they just wouldn't just stand a chance. I swear to God, this Zeus has got the right firepower. Ooh, that was a heavy hit. It's got the right amount of firepower, the right amount of maneuverability, the good, like the really great armor, you know, the perfect pilot. We got four turns of continuous fire left. We got dead fire too. I forgot all about that. Cause I'm an idiot. All right, let's use our superior speed and get into battle. Got to get our dead fire going. So let's just use the LRMs on the guys we can see. Okay, it's a start. Now the heavy threats down. Let's just push this forward. Yep, 
Yeah, our Orion heats up fast. If we didn't have that uh, heat bank in there, it could be an issue. Let's just fire, get some damage on this guy. A lot of building damage. I think we might just move forward and uh, not fire next turn. Commander. Can't get a shot. At oh, oh, well, hello there. Roger. I think the barrage is probably not in range here. Nope, the ultras are. We got what? Uh, 36 divided by 4 is what? Come on, people, help me out here. 8? No. 9. 9 turns of firing. Plenty of turns. Just to shred some more buildings so they don't have any place to hide. It's totally what I was planning to do. You guys, you might want not. You might want to think to to not go after that uh, Zeus. Because if you go after the Zeus, I'm gonna let her have you. This, I mean, we got. I mean, definitely long and medium range builds here. But you know, nothing too crazy. All right, that's gonna be the last of our LK ammo. Yeah. It's still tallying the damage that guy took. Let's not that let that Evan Shagwar get a uh, direct line of sight on us if we can avoid it. Uh, let's leave these off though. Alright, firing. We're almost within dead fire range. Okay. We're on the internal structure now. Oh, he's 65 tons. Oh, he's 60. Okay. Spoiler alert. It's a chance to hit this guy. Oh, overheat though. Oh, come on. Do we do the overheat? Let's just leave the rack off for now. We're going to fire the big ones. Here it comes. Eh. The screams of the dying. Not very nice. So if we go here, oh, okay, still flames. Oh wait, who was that? Oh, that's that guy. That's not flames. There we go. There we go. Going to leave the ultras off for a turn. Leave the barrage off. Just fire the improved. Our recall is getting up there. 
Do you, you, you think you're going to go hunt down Heli and you're just crazy? More crazy than I thought you were. Hey, a mess protected. Here it comes. All right, a little more damage. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of the Hollander with this big thing on it. I think the reason why he's having a problem is he's not hunting in a pack. Wow, you shot at the Timberwolf. That must be the PPC on his shoulder. Hi, right, Goose. Cannot get that vulture, huh? Probably can. Oh, oh! Somebody made a fatal error. Well, it's still only 30... 38% chance to hit, but we're taking it. Here it comes. I've been Shagwar moving over. Okay. You let him get on that building. Confirmed. <laughs> we just fell straight through the building. Target destroyed. Yep. Sure as hell is. That was a brave move on his part, that's for sure. Still within AMS range? It's not the secondary AMS. It's fine. That's that vulture, eh? He's decided to move out a little bit. Well, we got some headshotting for him, I think. I think we'll just apply heavy damage to him. I don't think we're going to go for a headshot on him. I'm going to leave the two. Um, the Phoenix Hawk didn't move. Let's just get out of the way of the fire. Let's move over here. Kind of in a bad spot. We're in a position to strike with that barrage next turn. Can we get a shot at the vulture? Oh, we can. Partially obscured shot, but we're going to move over here. 40%, eh? So we're going to dial these two off for this turn. Get a bunch of heat back, turn the rack back on, and fire on this guy. Giving us a bit more clear, clear lane of fire. That's a back shot. Um, now let's just move it up. Give us a better chance to hit. Move into here. And this is a back shot, so we're going to take it. Not going to do a lot of damage, but strip him some, some of his armor. Commander? Oh, beautiful. Here it comes. Dead fire. Enemy eliminated. You got that right. Move into striking distance. Nice. Yeah, I don't think... What the fuck just happened? Oh my god. Standing by. Our headshotter mech just got headshotted. Fucking story of my life. Everybody on the Evan Jaguar, please.
Oh my god. I can't believe our headshot our mech just got headshotted. We better not have lost that Orion. That's just insane. That guy's PO'd, man. Hell, in time to get back into the battle. Please. Please. You got it. Please get back into the battle. Try and overheat him. Yeah, well, you warmed him up. That's the important thing. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get this. Let's get right on this guy. Dead fire coming up. We let that guy exist far too long. I think that was the problem. I don't know whether that was a lucky shot or if it was... Well, that's all you're going to do is tag? Sure. Reporting. Minimal damage. He's probably way overheated anyway. Can't do much else. Commander. Nope, you're fine. Guess I'll just sit a spell. You're fine. Let these guys dig themselves out of their hole. They can dig themselves out. Let's move to a position where I don't think we're going to be uh, hitting our own guy. Get our incendiary back up, firing. Nicely done. We're out of Hydra. I thought there was a solid blue line here somewhere. Did I not see that? No, I was seeing this. Let's get in closer. I got you. Need both AMSs on our guys here. Even though the second one's jammed. Uh, ERs, ERs are coming on too. Both of them hit. Beautiful. Not quite a kill, but good damage. Should knock his ass over. Yeah, you have a seat, buddy. This guy's overheating, too. We're going to make this guy's death really, really, really painful. Leave one on, turn the other one off, fire everything. We should kill him here, I think. Look at that. Ain't enough AMS in the world that's going to protect you from that. Going to stay outside the trees. Kill this fucker for me, will you please? There it is, folks. I think that's our first pilot loss, too. I don't know if they're dead, but I, I got a feeling they are. Well, we lost the headshot, the uh, headshot um, fire control system. If uh, we lose the pilot, oh, spoilers killed in action. Crap. Let's see if we lost the mech. That's the most, well, not the most important thing. Pilot's the most important thing, but if we lose the mech, it's a big deal. You can always get another pilot, I guess, but, oh, man. Uh, we did not lose the mech. Okay. We can get a Hellbringer. Crap, man. That's really... That really cheeses me off. Uh, let's see what we got down here. 
We've got long range, we've got extreme range, got tracking. 240, regular XL engine, we could take and sell it, but if I'm going to do that, I'll take all three parts of a mech and sell it. Got plenty of these now uh, from the last episode. Uh, we got lower arms already, so we don't need any of those. Royal heat sink kit's not really going to, well, minus 3% weapon heat. We don't have regular double heat sinks, so that's the problem. So it's useless. Actually, how much is that worth? Four and a half? Three and a half. Three and a half, and then ammo. Okay, well, let's take the, uh, let's take the Hellbringer. I mean, we could take the Orion. Ah, uh, no. I don't know if we have any other Hellbringer parts. That's the problem. I think we do, but I can't guarantee it. So I want to make sure we get the C-bills for this. We need to jump systems. We, need, got, we got some repairs to do, so let's go this route. Well, that's a lot of mech parts. Mad Dog part, Noble part, Orion part. Beautiful. We might be able to assemble an Orion 2C. We'll see. Phoenix Hawk, Timberwolf part, Sentinel part. Beautiful. Micro lasers and a bunch of junk down here. Okay. Oh... I'm not going to go to the Memorial Wall. It's their first pilot killed. 190,000. All right. That's the Orion headshot damage. Other than the, other than getting headshotted, I thought the Lance did fairly well. I, If I hadn't forgot that we had the dead fire ammo, that battle might have been over a lot sooner. Um, I'm really shocked on the headshot, though. I don't know if that uh, Evan Jaguar had the headshot... Um, the headshot cockpit I didn't see it in the bottom there so I don't know all right so well that's very saddening but let's go and have a quick look at uh, assembling that Hellbringer and selling it see what it's got on it Hellbringer F oh we got enough to assemble another Timberwolf too Timberwolf C let's bring the Hellbringer forward first Ready this guy. LBX, what did each R really? Wow, that's a lot of weapons on it. Let's have a look at this guy. See what it's got. Not a lot left. But it's definitely scrap and sellable, that's for sure. Definitely sellable. All right, so let's just scrap this. 1.5, 1.6 million. Beautiful. Got a few, th few components in the bays. All right, guys. So I am going to reorganize the um, um, the tasks here to try and get as many Mac mechs back as possible before we jump. We're going to jump to a different system. We're one day here, and there's nothing else we can really do on this planet. So we're going to jump to a new system. Hopefully, with jump to a uh, clan wolf um, uh, owned world so we can get some uh, rep back with them again we dropped a bit in this episode so that's fine uh, and then hopefully we can outfit some of the newer mechs um, between episodes get them up and running for the next one all right so it uh, saddens me to say we lost spoiler but uh, you know such is life all right so I'm <laughs> gonna leave the episode here if you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.